on what's for lunch. Broccoli and cheese soup. It's getting colder outside, soup weather. Um, super fast, don't even need an oven or a stove to do this recipe. If you have some um, chopped broccoli, which you get in the frozen section of HEB or Walmart or wherever you like to shop, I've got my scale. I know 3.4 ounces is a cup, so I'm gonna go and put 6.8 ounces in my bowl here. And what's great about this, we're gonna add a broccoli cheese packet. You can totally add a little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic. Um, you could even season, spice it up if you wanted to. Um, and instead of the packet calls for six ounces of water, I personally really like to put chicken broth in there instead of water. I think it gives it a really good flavor. So we're gonna add our packet and I just get the generic brand chicken broth. It's always a nice easy way to get um, very low carbs, no fat generally, and um, not enough you know protein to count against us. So we're going to add um, six ounces of chicken broth. Again, this doesn't have to be a science. You can make this more or less depending on if you like yours to be a little more soupy or a little less soupy. And we're gonna throw this in the microwave for about a minute, stir it, do it another minute, and breakfast will, or breakfast, lunch will be served. So easy, quick lunches. So here is our broccoli cheese soup. Again, you can make it thinner, you can make it thicker, however you like it. It's piping hot though. So it did take two minutes and I did them in, in, maybe it took three minutes and I did them a minute a piece and then stirred it. You don't wanna just do three full minutes because it might um, over process your protein and then it denatures it and you will have a hot mess in the uh, microwave and it's not that great. So uh, it's hot though now. Bon appetit. <laughs>